the day we're taking a look at these NBA matches, which are happening on Monday, March 21, 2022, and giving you match breakdowns, betting tips and predictions in general on these games. Welcome back to High Stakes, let's get straight into it, also, don't forget to subscribe to get notified as soon as we release these sport prediction videos, and if you would like more betting tips and predictions, then check out our Patreon in the link down below. Our new Patreon is a way for us to help you improve your chances of making more money. 5 plans are available for each and every one of you, you can get 30 extra betting picks all the way up to 500 extra betting picks per month. Stop wasting hours of your time searching for bad betting picks that ends up costing you a lot of money. Join the high stakes Patreon now and get the best betting picks. Portland Trail Blazers vs Detroit Pistons The Portland Trail Blazers and Detroit Pistons meet Monday in NBA action at the Little Caesars Arena. The Portland Trail Blazers need a win after losing 10 of their last 11 games. The Detroit Pistons need a win after losing 5 of their last 6 games. Our first pick is. Pistons, minus 8.5. And here is why. The Portland Trail Blazers are averaging 107.3 points on 44.5% shooting and allowing 114 points on 47.5% shooting. Anthony Simons is averaging 17.3 points and 2.6 rebounds, while Josh Hart is averaging 14.5 points and 4 assists. Brandon Williams is the third double-digit scorer, and Just Eyes Winslow is grabbing 6.6 .6 rebounds. The Portland Trail Blazers are shooting 35.1% from beyond the arc and 76% from the free throw line. The Portland Trail Blazers are allowing 37% shooting from deep and are grabbing 43.6 rebounds per game. The Trail Blazers haven't done anything of late to show much confidence in being able to take down Detroit on the road. The road trip is certainly taking its toll on them, and until they are able to get their injuries and rotations in line, the losses will continue to build. In addition, Detroit has been playing better of late, and they'll be able to translate that confidence into a win in this one. Additionally, according to Covers.com, the Pistons are 9-1 at TS in their last 10 games playing on one day of rest. And our second pick is. Under 223. And here is why. The Detroit Pistons are averaging 104 points on 42.8% shooting and allowing 112.4 points on 47.3% shooting. Jeremy Grant is averaging 19.5 points and 4 rebounds, while Cade Cunningham is averaging 16.9 points and 5.4 assists. Sadik Bay is the third double-digit scorer, and Marvin Bagley 3 is grabbing 6.9 rebounds. The Detroit Pistons are shooting 32.7% from beyond the arc and 77.5% from the free throw line. The Detroit Pistons are allowing 36.7% shooting from deep and are grabbing 43 rebounds per game. Detroit isn't much different than their opponent on either side of the ball and will be looking to find some success in this one. They rank second to last in the league in scoring, field goal percentage, and three-point percentage, making life incredibly difficult for themselves on a consistent basis. Monday should provide some relief, given Portland's injuries, but Detroit still has work to do on the offensive end. Defensively, Detroit hasn't fared too much better than on the offensive end. They rank 23rd in scoring defense and are right near the bottom of the league in field goal percentage defense and three-point percentage defense. Diallo, 1.2 SPG, has been their premier defender all season long and without him, there are bound to be some defensive breakdowns, though the Pistons should be able to limit that. Los Angeles Lakers vs Cleveland Cavaliers The Los Angeles Lakers and Cleveland Cavaliers meet Monday in NBA action at the Rocket Mortgage Fieldhouse. The Los Angeles Lakers need a win after losing 10 of their last 13 games. The Cleveland Cavaliers look for a win after splitting their last 10 games. Our first pick is. Cleveland Cavaliers minus 6. And here is why. The Los Angeles Lakers are averaging 111.2 points on 46.5% shooting and allowing 114 points on 46.4% shooting. LeBron James is averaging 29.8 points and 8.2 rebounds, while Anthony Davis is averaging 23.1 points and 9.7 rebounds. Russell Westbrook is the third double-digit scorer, and Carmelo Anthony is grabbing 4.2 rebounds. The Los Angeles Lakers are shooting 34.9% from beyond the arc and 72.8% from the free throw line. The Los Angeles Lakers are allowing 35.1% shooting from deep and are grabbing 44.1 rebounds per game. The Lakers are playing the last game of a four-game road trip. They are a terrible road team, recording a 1-9 record in their last 10 road games. The Cavaliers are thriving at home where they have won four out of their last five bouts. Furthermore, the Lakers continue to squander a ton of points. They have allowed an average of 125.6 points in their last five games overall. 
meanwhile, the Cavs are in a groove offensively, netting at least 113 points in four straight games, which are above their season average of 107. It's always a big storyline when James is back in Cleveland, however, the Cavs should walk away with a convincing win. And our second pick is over 223.5 points, and here is why. Darius Garland continues to produce with consistency, netting at least 22 points in all but one game this month. The 22-year-old point guard is having a terrific season, reporting an average of 21.3 ppg and 8.5 apg. Evan Mobley has tallied a double-double in five out of his last eight games. The talented rookie center has increased his season average to 15.2 ppg and 8.3 rpg. Karis Levert scored nine points in Saturday's victory. The veteran shooting guard has filed an average of 17.6 ppg. The Cleveland Cavaliers are averaging 107.2 points on 46.7% shooting and allowing 104.2 points on 44.8% shooting. Darius Garland is averaging 21.3 points and 8.5 assists, while Jared Allen is averaging 16.1 points and 10.8 rebounds. Evan Mobley is the third double-digit scorer, and Kevin Love is grabbing 7.3 rebounds. The Cleveland Cavaliers are shooting 35.1% from beyond the arc and 75.9% from the free throw line. The Cleveland Cavaliers are allowing 34.8% shooting from deep and are grabbing 44.6 rebounds per game. New Orleans Pelicans vs Charlotte Hornets The New Orleans Pelicans and Charlotte Hornets meet Monday in NBA action at the Spectrum Center. The New Orleans Pelicans need a win after losing five of their last eight games. The Charlotte Hornets look to build on their four-game winning streak. Our first pick is Charlotte Hornets minus six. And here is why. The New Orleans Pelicans are averaging 108.5 points on 45.5% shooting and allowing 109.9 points on 46.5% shooting. CJ McCollum is averaging 26.1 points and 5.4 rebounds, while Brandon Ingram is averaging 22.8 points and 5.7 rebounds. Jonas Valanciunas is the third double-digit scorer, and Devont Graham is grabbing 2.5 rebounds. The New Orleans Pelicans are shooting 33.1% from beyond the arc and 78.3% from the free throw line. The New Orleans Pelicans are allowing 35.9% shooting from deep and are grabbing 45.5 rebounds per game. The Charlotte Hornets have won four straight games, and they will be attempting to make it five on Monday. They are performing at a very high level on the offensive end of the floor right now. According to dunksandthrees.com, they have the eighth most efficient offense in the league. The Pelicans have struggled on the defensive end of the floor, as they are allowing 109.9 ppg and letting their opponents shoot 46.5% from the floor. The Hornets are scoring 115.1 ppg and can score on just about anybody. They also have the 8th best 3-point shooting percentage in the NBA, and I see them finding a lot of success from behind the arc in this game. Miles Bridges and LaMelo Ball will be able to do their thing on offense and carry this Hornets team to a win at home. The Pelicans won't be able to keep on the offensive end, as Brandon Ingram and Zion Williamson are both still out. Charlotte has been extremely hot on the offensive end, and that trend will continue in this game. Our second pick is over 234. And here is why. The Charlotte Hornets are averaging 115.1 points on 46.2% shooting and allowing 114.7 points on 46.3% shooting. Miles Bridges is averaging 20 points and 3.8 assists, while LaMelo Ball is averaging 19.7 points and 6.8 rebounds. Terry Rozier is the third double-digit scorer, and Gordon Hayward is dishing 3.6 assists. The Charlotte Hornets are shooting 36.3% from beyond the arc and 73.8% from the free throw line. The Charlotte Hornets are allowing 35.7% shooting from deep and are grabbing 45 rebounds per game. Disclaimer, no financial advice, the information on this channel is provided for education and informational purposes only, without any express or implied warranty of any kind, including warranties of accuracy, completeness, or fitness for any particular purpose. The information contained in or provided from or through this channel is not intended to be and does not constitute financial advice, investment advice, trading advice or any other advice. The information on this channel and provided from or through this channel is general in nature and is not specific to you the user or anyone else. You should not make any decision, financial, investment, trading or otherwise, based on any of the information presented on this channel without undertaking independent due diligence and consultation with a professional broker or financial advisory. 